Welcome back to our lunch lesson series here on Cook's Corner. We're bringing in some of the chefs from around the local schools to teach us how to do it in the kitchen. Uh, our guest today is Jennifer Jones from the New Market School District and Karina. Thanks for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you what for are we making? Us. We are going to make a chicken broccoli Alfredo with a twist. Okay. How do we do that? Well, Karina's going to help us out here. We're going to start. Is Karina the real chef here? <laughs> well, you know, she has to learn. Oh, okay. It's important to get the kids involved. Sure. So we're going to start. Our twist is we, our base is a cream of chicken soup. Ah, okay. Which is low sodium, low Let's fat. Low sodium. Nope. Low fat. Definitely different. And then I'm going to have her add in a cup and a half of um, low fat milk okay. <laughs> and stir that up together. Okay, stir those together. Yep. And, uh, with the USDA regulations, we've tried to take some of our old recipes, the basic broccoli Alfredo sure, okay. was a little too rich, yeah. and uh, tame it down a little to meet their requirements. Okay, and this so is one way to do it? We're going to add some Parmesan cheese, exactly. They'll have the same flavor, but it's a much healthier version. And, and what is the response when you serve this to the kids? They love it. Yeah. They absolutely love it. Um, can't go wrong with pasta yeah. anyways. So we have some toasted garlic and onion. Toasted garlic in there. I'm going to put just a pinch of a pepper. A pinch of pepper, okay. I'm going to have her stir that up. Karina's doing the stirring yep. over Okay. So we try really hard to go with meals the kids will eat. We have a huge issue in the state that's not very well known of um, food insecure families. Yep. Um, sometimes all the meals they get are at school, so we have to make sure that it's definitely something they're going to want to eat. And perhaps maybe they're not getting a nutritious meal at home, too, so this is a good Right, idea. and okay. if they like this, they might go home and tell mom and dad about sure. it. And this is something you can definitely do very, very simple, very economical. And you get people watching right now going, well, do the kids like it? You said that you actually test these, right? We do test these. Okay. Um, anytime we're trying a new recipe, we're going to add our broccoli and our pasta. I'll have her mix this up. Um, and we do get the feedback from the kids to see if they're going to like to eat it or not. And this one got the thumbs up. Well, of course, you, as, you said, up. as you said before, if the kids don't eat it, what's the point, right? Right. Okay. And, and so, like I said, breakfast and lunch are sometimes the only meals some of these kids get. Karina's uh, got a lot of work over there, by the way. She does. She's quite she put the in, good like eight pounds of pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and I toned this down. <laughs> so I'll spoon this up and give you an idea. This is what our, our okay. meal would look like. They okay. get a, a cup of this with a salad. And this is a typical meal typical here for the kids? Typical meal. When okay. we serve this at school, this is exactly what the students will get. Oh, that looks yummy. A little garlic bread on the side and, and garlic apple. Garlic bread, meet their grains, their fruit, their vegetable. Very easy to do. Very Karina, thank easy. you very much. That was excellent. Jennifer Jones from the New Market School District, thanks for sharing that recipe thank with you. us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. That does it for us.